why does it have to be that whenever somebody does something nice, there has to be an equal and opposite action? You know, this could have been such a happy video, somebody doing something nice, receiving a gift, and then you find out about some more troll crap. It's ridiculous. Anyway, check out what's going on today. Squirrel mode. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There we go. Now, I've been dithering again. I've got more shit to do. Okay. All right. This is the puzzle caddy that I packed most of my paintings in that were small enough to fit. Well, all of the ones that were small enough to fit. The ones that were too big, they got rolled up around a pool noodle all together. Somebody had asked, how did I you know, pack them up for the move, and I'll show you. Haven't opened it yet to see how well they traveled, but let's check it out. Now, my puzzle caddy had a Velcro little clasp on it. This thing's like really old, 30, 40 years old. I don't know, and the Velcro had torn off. And, you know, it's got like one still there, but the one up here was gone, and I didn't want to put like packing tape around it and tear up all of the um, cardboard. So I put a strip of duct tape across there and a I could have put one solid strip there because I figured I'd just leave that on and then I just taped from here to there so that I didn't tear up the whole thing removing the tape later on. It was just an idea. Who knows if it worked. Um, but let's start with the roll first because I don't know how many in there actually had diamonds on it, but let's check it out and see how well they fared. Um, now I'm, in order, because my room is so small now, in order to get the camera high enough to be able to see the table, my tripod's like way the heck up and I'm on a step stool looking at the, the phone so I can see what you see. So this is really cramped. So you're gonna have to give me a second to climb down off my ladder and around the tripod to get down. Cause yeah, this is not conducive for for a YouTube channel. So I am trapped here. So let, give me one second. Let's see if I can do this without jostling you too much. <sighs> Here we go. All right. And then these are just Velcro straps to hold it together. Right. And a poor noodle. First one is this is that um, kiss one or what? I don't know what it's called. These are gonna be kind of hard to tell if anything's wrong with them because they're, you know, they're covered in the paper and whatnot. But here's this one. Now I've got my drying rack out. And I'm going to hang them up, but I won't do that right away because then you'll just be listening to me back there. So I'm just going to unroll. And I guess here, hey, it's a stash video too. Okay. So I'm just going to make piles of paintings and we'll put them on the rack later. All right. This is the Peter Pan. You can't really see it. This is the one that Gwenny had such an issue with. So she sent it to me to play with. Um, to try and get the, try and fix it. This is an experimental canvas. Plus, I like Peter Pan. 
because I was named after Wendy in Peter Pan. So yeah, this has been sitting around for a very long time. I don't think anybody's concern was really how much the unworked paintings were going to travel. It's the ones with the diamonds. So. All right. And then this is this uh, really pretty cottage picture. I really, I really think this is very pretty. Very, very pretty. Okay. Um, yeah. It's got some rivers and stuff, but yeah, I can I can work on that. Let's see what I can do. But that I believe was why she sent it to me. Alright, so that wasn't too terribly exciting. Let's check out this. See, if I would have done this, you can see it's going to tear the cardboard to heck. So that's why I did it that way. Didn't want to wreck it. Take that. Wrecked. Okay. Anyway. Let me open this up here. Try not to bump you. And let's see. Hang on. Um, I'm gonna have to turn this. There we go. Okay. If you've never seen a puzzle caddy, essentially you've got these trays with foam and you put it over the loose puzzle pieces, pack it all up so that nothing shifts. Um, but I used it to pack away my diamond paintings for the move. So just double checking my trays are empty. There's nothing in those. So just pull those off and put them to the side. All right. So that one looks nice and flat. This is, oops, my willow landscape. That can be hung up. And My other willow picture. And I think you can almost tell just as much from the back side as the front with that paper on there. There's no big wrinkles in it, so that looks like it traveled well. And I would assume they would because they're all smashed flat in here. And this is the one that I just kitted up to do next. The hummingbird. So this is going to be my next whip and nice and flat. Yeah. So I think we've kind of seen this, this works well. If you have a puzzle caddy, um, you know, I, I know a lot of people are using like the, or the artist portfolio, the big, I think the key is you got to really have them secured firmly in there. That's what all these trays and the foam was for so that nothing's shifting or sliding around. Um, gotta have it packed pretty tight in there. All right, so I'm not gonna worry about all these unstarted paintings right now. I'm gonna see if there's anything that's started down here. So I think there might be at least my Four Seasons tree. Here's the Paris one. Okay, so you now this one. I was futzing a little bit to get it in there because it was a little bit big, but the only part that got wrinkled up 
is outside of the pasting area. And I knew that was going to happen, but I was okay with that because um, it's outside the pasting area. Okay. All right, here's one that was finished. So let's see, we'll do this. We'll see if anything falls off. Nope. So that one traveled well. Nothing's missing. Good, good. So we'll put that one over here. And you know, this one was halfway done. This is paint with diamonds. Nothing fell off. So that traveled well too. I, I, this is, you know, my next one I want to get off my back, like the mermaid, so that I can just be done with it. But yeah, this one had, you can see, had a river in it. And you can totally see right where that is. I scratched at it and ironed it. and I think I ironed it. Maybe I didn't iron it. But yeah, it's right there. So yeah, it's to the point where now do you like pull off all the diamonds? Because I already did that twice. Pulled them all off. Scratched the living crap out of it with the pen to try and flatten it. And it didn't work. So I don't know. Not happy. All right, now, this one I just finished very recently. This is an ever moment. Nothing fell off. And again, I it's a little bent beyond the drill field there. Right here, but I knew that. So, it looks great. Looks absolutely fantastic. That one's ready to be framed. And I want to frame it soon because I love it. Okay. And then this one I did not too long ago. This is another ever moment. Nothing's falling off. Very pretty. Love it. Now, I don't know if I'm just too picky, but yeah, there's a little bit of gapping in the light areas. Those kind of bother me a little bit because I'm way too picky. Um, get up there. Can you see it? It's a little bit of gapping. I don't know if you can see it. I'll, I'll bring it down when I see it, but whatever. Or you don't care. Oh, that's right. You don't care. Um... Mm, there you go. Yeah, that bothers me, but I shouldn't let it because you shouldn't be looking at it that close. But yeah, that's very pretty. I love that picture too. Fond memories of my childhood with my dad. With that one. All right. Nothing fell off. Perfect. Okay. And then Diamond Art Club, Cinderella. Nothing fell off. Traveled very, very well. Gorgeous. Want to get that framed too as soon as possible. Or maybe I should forget framing things and just use Loctite to come to the wall. I don't know. We'll see. But I love that one. That traveled well. And um, Alice got taped down. Because she was bigger than the box and I wanted to make sure she didn't shift so that the drill field shifted and got wrinkled. I didn't mind so much of the border. So that's why she's taped down. So let's untape her. And this is low tack painter's tape so I was hoping it wasn't going to tear my cardboard. And it looks like it's not. It's not. 
a little bit, not bad. There we go. Okay. And let's just put this under it to see if anything falls off. And nothing fell off. Okay. Perfect. And then, of course, Alice. Absolutely love this painting. This is the one I was thinking about putting over the toilet in the bathroom because it's like the only good spot I have to hang anything. I suppose over there would be okay. Anyway, so yeah, those all traveled well. So yeah, I would say this is a good idea for traveling. Um, if you're moving, to pack up a whole bunch of them. Um, One thing I did do when I stacked them was I did I kind of staggered everything because I didn't want, um, you know, if you think about when you pile like a whole bunch of clothes with hangers and the hanger end ends up way up here and then everything else is down there, I didn't want huge lumps. So I kind of did the biggest ones and worked my way to the smaller ones so that everything was as level as possible because I didn't want to create any issues by having things under there. But yeah, I think that worked out well. Um, and I can put this away now. Oh, I've got that other piece behind my couch to put away too. Let me get that out of there. This here. Alright. And There we go. Alrighty. That worked well. Now I'm just going to hang them back up on my drying rack. And if I can think of anything to talk about while I'm doing it, I'll, I'll film that too. And if I can't, I'll just speed it up and whatever. But um, I'm going to get you down and repositioned. All right. Sorry, little little drama broke out there, so it's it's been a little while, but um, let's get these hung up. Now, what I tend to do is I will hang my completed on one side and my to-dos on the other. So, let's do that. And um, I guess I might as well, hey, let you know what the recent drama was. So, um... Now, let me see here. Uh, let's do the completed first. So, I just was uh, um, informed, excuse me, informed that um, somebody's trying to start drama, stir the pot, create something out of nothing. And it's just irritating because, um, yeah. Apparently, on the outro of my last video, I made a comment about stitchery stuff. I don't, I can't quote myself, but it was something along the lines, because it was my cross-stitch video, where I was, you know, cross-stitch 101. Um, and <clears throat> I made the comment about, you know, I wouldn't watch her if I were you. And her, because I talk to I talk about myself in the third person when I'm doing the characters. I said, I wouldn't watch her if I were you. She doesn't know what she's doing, yada, yada. If you want to watch somebody who knows what they're doing, you know, just watch Stitcherista. There's something along those lines. Or, I don't know, whatever. Um, that's the gist of it. It's not a quote. Do you want to say more of that? Or do you want to just, you know, watch Stitcherista because she knows what she's doing? It is kind of funny watching her fumble through the whole thing, you know. The novice teaching. 
I don't know who she's teaching, seriously. But um, yeah, most of us already know what we're doing when it comes to that. And there's a few of you who don't, but I wouldn't recommend watching her to figure it out. Unless, you know, her communication style clicks with you. Apparently some people just get her. Others, not so much. But yeah, let us know if you want to see more of this stuff. And then what you've been diagnosed with. But somebody turned that into an insult, apparently, that I was bashing Danielle. Really? So, anyway. Whatever. But, um, yeah, stupid. Um, but it got cleared up very, very quickly. Because, you know, we're a pretty tight-knit community. And it doesn't uh, doesn't take long for it to get back to somebody. I mean, somebody stir in the pot. Now I have never been, you know, Facebook friends or Messenger friends or whatever with Danielle. Um, I don't know. I, I she was just she's out of my league. Really, what it boils down to, because um, she's famous and I'm not. But uh, yeah. So anyway, uh, once I found out about it, I did immediately talk to Danielle and cleared it up. So sorry, didn't work. So dumb. But um, yeah. So that's. You didn't, you didn't succeed. Sorry. Just here. I don't even know how somebody could, why do people got to do that? I mean, were you like, were you the bully in high school and you just didn't outgrow it? Or were you the one who got bullied in high school and you're taking out your revenge now in adulthood? Because it almost feels like you're you're being a cyber bully by making shit up. It's just stupid. Stupid. I'm not in junior high. Okay? I don't need to freaking have these schoolyard... Uh, whatever. It's dumb. And it's irritating. And this whole idea of YouTube and the diamond painting community is to be... Bringing happiness and joy and, you know, um, just be relaxing and therapeutic and not a freaking backstabbing gossip coffee clutch. It's just immature, really, is what it is. It's immature. So, but, you know, luckily, you know, Danielle and I are both grown ups. And, um, yeah, we can clear this stuff up pretty quick. Dumb. Irritating. Anyway, not going to let it even bother me. And, you know, to the person that let me know, I do appreciate it. You know, again, I've said this before. I kind of like living in my bubble of, um, of being naive to what's going on. Not having the influence of the outside world keep your own drama, whatever, but, you know, I certainly don't want anybody thinking that I'm talking ill of them. I don't just, you know, run around making negative comments about people. I don't start shit, I guess is what I'm trying to say. I don't just start shit up. 
I have a little more tact than that. Now, however, if somebody starts attacking me, I can put up with it for a little while. I'll be pleasant and gracious and politically correct and responding to it. And everybody's entitled to their opinion. And thank you for your comments. And thank you for sharing your thoughts with me. But if you keep this shit up, I am... A, I am I'm not going to be a doormat, basically. So, anyway, yeah, I'm a Scorpio. I'm not going to put up a shit. And sometimes it is fun to just play those stupid games with somebody. Because, you know, sometimes if you're going to be a child, then I... The only thing you'll understand is somebody playing at your level. Sometimes. I'll try and handle it as a mature, rational adult first. And if that doesn't do any good, I'll stoop to your level and beat you at your own game. So, just, whatever. I know, completely immature, but I just, you know. <sighs> yeah. Don't fuck with me. Seriously, people, I don't have time for that shit. All right. Two more here. And let's see. Save this one. Whoops. Oh, oh it's dumb. Now, this is actually a whip, so this needs to go higher. Oh, so I can get at it. We don't want this one on this side. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's the latest llama drama. Short-lived. Sorry, come up with something else. Got to do better than that. And whatever. So, but yeah, I did have a lovely conversation with um, with Danielle and just kind of reinforced um, my true opinion of her. So. And my true opinion of her is I have mad respect for that lady. She is um, she's awesome. She's real she's she's she is who she is she's not afraid to be who she is and she grew like crazy last year because we all love who she is and by we all i mean those of us who are subscribed to her channel not for the the purpose of trolling her if you don't like it change channels seriously why do you have to feed your own misery by being negative? You're making it worse for yourself and you're spreading your virus and contaminating other people. Isn't it better to pay it forward with happiness and joy than negativity and ill will? I mean, really, people want to be happy, so the people who are happy by being unhappy, they are mentally ill. Okay. So, there we go. There's our completed, and um, so this is what needs to be framed. I've got... One, two, three, four, five, six to frame. Now we'll flip it around and we'll do our, um, actually, hang on a second. Let me move this down. I'm going to put my whip on this side too. Let me see here. Yeah, I'll move this down just a little. Put it down one. There we go. All right. 
and yeah, we'll put this one over here too. This one needs to be finished. around. I might have to take it out in the hallway to turn around. There's no room in this room. Let's see, how are we going to do this? I'm going to do a three-point turn. There we go. Okay. Alright. There we go. Alright. Give me a moment. I need uh, I need a beverage and we'll hang up the um, to-do's. All right, now, um, what I try to do typically is the thumbnail. I try to keep the thumbnails visible on it because you're not going to see all the paintings because they just, you know, cover over each other. Um, and I don't know if I'm going to continue to hang the diamonds on the rack as well. I might. I might not. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But if I do do that, do do, she said do do, I have to have the paintings so that I can flip them up. But I'd like to do that anyway. So that, so let me, let me see. This is what I need so that I can flip them up. So that means this goes down the center. And then flip this up. And that popped off. Then we've got this bottom rack. There we go. Come on. Here. All right. With that said, hmm. let's see if we can push this back just a little bit more. All right. Let me see something here. Now, I gotta see how big some of these are. Who's there? Is that gonna drag on the ground? Kind of. Not really. Just above. It does eliminate a whole lot of space. Okay. So maybe I'll put the littler ones down there. And. Let's see. Take the small ones, put them down there, put the big ones at the top. I was originally using these little clips, um, but they were so tight that they um, would pop off kind of easily. So I switched to binder clips uh, for putting most of these on here. All right, now, let's see, if I do that that way, I think we'll be okay. I'm going to put my biggest ones on the top and then cover over them with the smaller ones. So that's one of the biggest ones and then <clears throat> this is a really big one too. Do that there. 
And then these little ones, you know, just to kind of keep it from going out, I can put these little ones in the center to just kind of keep it trim. And these are all smaller. Those are all smaller. That one's very small. This one's kind of big. And I might keep them by brand too, together. So that, like I was saying earlier, I want to rotate from between like the ever moment that were given to me and the Diamond Art Club and then the total shit that I bought off of AliExpress a year ago. Before I knew that they were stolen images. This is my next largest. See the thumbnails. This is my last. No, I'm missing another one. Where's my rose? Here it is. This one too. Alright. And this one. There we go. You probably put both of those on. Let's see, where's the? Oh, I got it upside down. That's why. There we go. Yeah, I can put these together. Because I don't have to have one on every single bar. Don't have to. Here. And this here. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. Is good. Okay, now. Yeah, they don't actually have to go. Yeah, no, I want them down the center. There we go. Right down the middle. There we go. Ow. Okay. 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 Now, next up, we'll do the Ever Moment. Oh no, here's another Diner Club. So, this one you can put with this. Actually, let's put it up on top. Uh, put it here. Put it here.
Oh, that's way too tight. Those kind of like to pop off. There we go. All right. There we go. So I'm going to put one here. Okay. And here. And we'll put one here. Okay. I'm just blabbering. Blabber. 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 All right. There we go. Now, um, ever moment. This is the next one I'm going to do, so I'm going to keep that one out. Put that over here. And we'll put this up. I'm going to have to go steal more binder clips from my husband. Shh, don't tell him. Yeah, I need them now. Okay, I'm going to pause you while I go raid the office supplies. Okay. I, hmm, I think I did that right. I don't know. I'm so confused. Okay. And I, I, can, I can't tell you how much I appreciate the generosity of you guys for sending me so many gifts over the last, well, I can't remember. I think the first time anybody sent me a gift was probably August. But, you know, ever since I ran into the issues with, you know, our financial struggles and everything, so many people have been so incredibly generous, not only with financial help, but the gifts, which I can't even tell you how much that helped lift my spirits. Um, I had a really rough day yesterday, crying for no reason, and by no reason, no apparent reason. There's always a reason. Depression hitting, you know, um going out to brunch for Easter, just really feeling down in the dumps. And, and then, you know, Brian notices that I'm kind of off and said something. So then I start crying at the table. I'm going to go to the bathroom, wipe my face off, get home, climb in bed and cry uncontrollably for who knows how long. Just bizarre, bizarre. But, you know, then today, you know, get the monthly visitor. It's like, oh, well, that makes sense. Oh my God, being a woman is so wonderful, isn't it? Yeah. All right, now everything left is like other brands. So I guess I'll do my Glymagas next. That's those two. And then I've got uh, a Hua can and then some other random stuff. So let's, let's put out the Glymagas. And the thumbnails are on this side. Let's see here. Hmm. I swear, it, it feels like depression is contagious. You know, it's like one person starts to slide and a whole bunch of other people slide. Maybe that's why this whole troll negativity thing bothers me so much is because I know how contagious negative can be. You know, smiles and sneezes and all that is contagious, but so is negativity. I don't know. Whoever says, let's make the world a better place by making everybody grumpy. Nobody.
And there we go. All right, a couple more and then we're done. These are gigantic, so how am I gonna do this? Let's see here. This one's like enormous. And the thumbnail is in the center, which makes absolutely no sense for hanging it up, but here we go. This one. Let's see here. Well, all the rest of those are that way, so I guess we'll put it right down the freaking center. And I could hang it. It's not gonna wreck it by doing that. Yeah, we'll just do that. Can I do that? I could probably do that. Is it gonna be far enough off the ground? Not. Nope, I need more. I'm gonna need to go higher up. Let's see. Yeah. I have to put it like right smack in the middle there. That'll be okay. Right there. some of these a little. You can never do anything right the first time. Oh, so <laughs> I watched, um, who have I watched lately? I watched Spasmodic Arts and Elizabeth in North Carolina with her hoarding, cleaning her hoarder room. Oh my God, that was so funny. Um, loved it. It was so much fun watching that. Um, and I can so relate to the sentimental items from relatives from the past and not wanting to get rid of them but and I'm just speaking for myself at this point not necessarily liking the items though but feeling compelled to keep them yeah I can, I can relate so then you try and pawn it off on some other relative maybe so and so would want this <laughs> kind of funny Here we go. 
And we'll put this one down. Not fun though, cleaning out a room that's that packed full of stuff. I can completely relate to the frustration behind that. Um, just trying to maneuver in here. So not fun. Let's see how long are these? Those could go down. So let's see here. Let's move these down. But she made a lot of progress on cleaning out a room. So kudos on that. Not easy. And she also says things to her husband that I wish I could say to mine. Mine is not uh, quite so um, amicable as far as Taking instructions. I don't know how else to say that delicately. Alright. this down. This one, however, is shorter, so it's going to be oops, down further. This will go down here. Let's see. There we go. Talking to myself. Lots of talking to myself. Still screwed it up. Hey, come on. You can do it. This. There we go. Anyway, I can't see anything I'm doing down here. Don't worry about it. Ignore the man behind the curtain. Now I can see them all. I feel like that one should go down a little bit. Okay, we're good. We're good. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. 
see this one. And then, oh, I saw that this one. Okay, this one can go here. This is who I can. Here. Man, they've got a lot of border on that, don't they? Big border. Okay. And the pan. Is it to the pan? I should hang up the one I haven't started, but I'm going to. And put it on top of everything else. So this one, we're going to just put, uh, let's see here. We'll put it over. No, we won't. I can't do that. Put it down here. see how does that look yeah let me pull it out a little and see I okay so there's all my paintings hung you know flat essentially so they're not rolled anymore and then I've got of course all of my to do on one side pretty much by brand and then I only put it so that it just clears the ground. I don't think I'm going to put the drills underneath it. Too heavy and cumbersome on carpet. On the wood floor, it was fine. Here, mm, not so much. Plus, I've got empty bins since I reorganized everything. And then I'll spin her around so you can see the other. See, and this, these fold in to make it narrow. To fit in tight places. And then my completed to be framed in my one whip that's going right now. Um, 
and just tuck this over here. flopping over but yeah it just tucks over there um but yeah they're all put away uh and now we'll move on to the next thing i'll probably stop here put this out there and do the um cross stitch video next because i don't need to have a whole squirrel fiesta going on too much going on one thing so i'm going to edit this and we'll do Crush stitch next. Crush stitch next. Okay, bye guys. So I hope that's a lesson to you kids. If you can act like a grown up, you can clear it up quick. If you're gonna act like a child, it's gonna continue. I I want to know whatever, but um, yeah. Starting that peacock coming up soon. Thank you all for uh, hanging in there. And just for the record, she doesn't just, you know, lash out at people. She's not that kind of person. Unless you're married to her. Then, you know, watch it. Mm -hmm.